Hi, good afternoon everyone. I'm Delphine here. I'm a stay-at-home mom and a full-time working mom as well, working at home with three kids. So I'm also a digital on online digital entrepreneur. Today I'll be starting my um, 31 days fun and facts all about me for the month of October. So it's 31 days of sharing all about me. And today is the first day, so it's a good start of the month uh, as well as it's the last quarter of uh, of the year. So I would like to start something um, that is uh, meaningful to let um, you know the audience uh, know uh, more about myself, more about me. Okay, today I'll be talking about um, where would I, where could I live um, anywhere? Um, where would it be? Okay, I have always um, been very um, you know. Um, comfort uh when i go to australia okay um okay but australia have a lot of uh, different city there's perth there's melbourne there's sydney there's tasmania there's canberra you know there's gold coast so there's a lot of um different cities in uh in australia and um different cities it has different vibes as well so my preference um i'm actually more um comfortable and i felt really at home when i'm in perth I would suppose because it is more um, peace, more calm, more slow pace. I'm not sure whether am I getting old or what. <laughs> you know, I prefer that um, very calm, uh, very slow pace. And there's no, um, you know, you don't have to uh, be fast, just like in Singapore, where you're, you're always rushing to everywhere. You know, that's why we have been, we went to Perth um, somewhere in 2015 uh, with two of my kids when they are actually very much younger. And we simply love that. Same for my kids and uh, even my, my husband. We've just felt so at home when we are there. You know, even though when the first time when we went, um, you know, it, we are like a stranger. We doesn't know how to go. But we just, we enjoy the, um, you know, self-drive trips. So we just drive to anywhere uh, in Perth without any itinerary. Because to us, it's every place is an exploration. It's very adventurous. So it makes me feel so comfortable when... I get to um, you know know the people um, when I when I go shopping when I go uh, you know supermarket they are just so friendly. But in different states of uh, Australia, actually uh, people behave differently. Um, so we felt super comfortable uh, when we are in Perth. So that would be the main city that I would um, actually choose to live in um, if I'm retired or if I can retire early. I'll actually probably move my whole family there. So that is one of the uh, goals that I'm actually setting myself as well. Same for my family as well as my husband. We have been actually aiming to, you know, migrate there or even buy a house there so that we can settle the kids there. Um, you know, when they grow up, they can actually go to university there to study because the pace there is actually much, um, you know, slower. Yes, Lydia, the self-drive in Perth is just so... Breeze, you know, it's really, um, it, it, you don't really have to crack your head of where to go. You just follow the route, you know, where there's a road, there's, oh, there's, there's way, you know, that, that's how we look at it. But in Melbourne and in Sydney, I have been there before. Um, it just looks more complicated. We have tried, um, driving in Melbourne. I have tried driving in Sydney and Sydney is just, it's too urban. You know, being in an urban city in Singapore, I, I don't think I want to retire or I want to live in, in another urban city where it's so hectic. So I choose to have a, a more, um, you know, calm, slow-paced life. Uh, if I can, you know, even if, you know, if I choose to be born again, I don't think... Okay, Singapore is safe, but um, I think in living in Singapore is pretty um, stressful for children as well as for parents as well. So I would... If, if I get a chance, I will actually choose to be born in a place where it's more slow pace, where safety is still a priority. But, um, you know, we don't need to live in such a hectic lifestyle, rushing here and there. So I can be with my kids as well as be with my family. Okay, so that's it for today's sharing. For tomorrow, I'll be sharing with, um, I'll be sharing with you all on what is my fear. So do stay tuned to me uh, same time at this hour, 12 p.m. every day. See you and thank you for tuning in. Bye.